all parents who have boys want them to grow up to be real men. Men who are strong, but also are tender and capable of richly fulfilling relationships. If you have a son, this podcast is indispensable for you and for them. One quarter of men under age 40 have never married. An increase of, wait for it, 300% from 1980. More and more men never marry, nor are they parenting. This is a significant problem when we consider that the family unit is the rock upon which every healthy society is built, socially, economically, and politically. Increasingly, men are not even looking for partners. Why is that? Because both men and women instinctively fill their own needs first. And in recent years, many men have discovered that they can fill their relationship needs much easier and faster without the burdens of finding a woman. The needs men have from a relationship can be expressed in three broad categories, generally in this order of priority, although it changes. Sex, fun, and connection. So first, sex. Men have a strong need, or at least strong desire, to be sexually satisfied, but they've learned that they can now find this satisfaction very easily through internet porn, very easily. Boys become addicted to porn at an average age of 11, and roughly 60 to 80% of men, it's a tough number to pin down, regularly use porn which usually equates with some kind of addiction. Men have learned that turning on a computer can be much easier than having sex with a live woman who usually wants a guy to emotionally connect with her, imagine that, before she has sex with him. For many men, all that foreplay seems like a great deal of unnecessary work, especially compared to flicking a switch. Second need. Fun. Men enjoy a partner with a sense of humor and who enjoys shared activities. But now, men are addicted at astonishing rates to video games, social media, and YouTube scrolling, to name just a few. Screens don't require any kind of cooperation from a partner. Screens are easier than women. Third need, connection. Men most commonly feel connected when they feel understood, accepted, and respected. But real connection requires two people, and most men are not taught how to be as emotionally aware as most women are. Everybody sees girls from an early age huddling together, giggling together as they share feelings. Guys don't do that. In fact, they're discouraged from doing it from a very early age. And when women expect that kind of giggly, laughing, vulnerable connection, it can be very disappointing and frustrating for both parties. So men are turning to screens instead of women for their top two needs, and men are woefully unprepared to connect, which is the third need. To make things even more difficult, many men are turning to screen activities that fill all three needs at one time. Just one example of such a screen app is called OnlyFans. It's a site with roughly 200 million users, perhaps more now, men who pay for the entire girlfriend experience, they call it. They can get a steady stream of sexual photos and videos and even loving messages. They can also talk in person to individual, what they call content creators, really sex workers, who provide whatever the users want to see or hear in real time. These sex workers say that a large part of their job is to pour understanding and acceptance all over their admirers, like a lover might do. They listen compassionately as men complain about their difficult days. They might message their customers during the day or even play video games with them in the evening. Not kidding. In the words of one worker, quote, I'm the cure for loneliness, end quote. And these workers provide sexual content as well. So with one app, a man can fill his needs for sex, fun, and connection. 
and millions of these men express great satisfaction with their pornographic girlfriend. They say things like, quote, dating women is just too risky and too difficult. I'd rather be online, end quote. So we've established that increasing numbers of men are getting their needs met outside a real relationship. Now let's look at yet another reason men are not finding women. The women are finding men less suitable by the year. It's getting worse every year. The education and income levels of men are falling behind those of women, especially in major cities. And women are finding that a turnoff. Let's put all this together and relate it to your job as a parent of boys. Boys need to be loved unconditionally and taught how to be loving and responsible. If we do this successfully, these boys are emotionally fulfilled and skilled, which enables them to connect with future partners. Need number three, remember, connecting. And boys who are loved, loving, and responsible uniformly find genuine happiness, a level of joy that transcends but includes fun. Need number two. And if they are loved, they don't use sex as a substitute for love only as an expression of it. Need number one. These loving and responsible boys don't find it difficult to attract, create, and maintain relationships with their partners. They also become great fathers. And so it is, once again, that a growing serious social problem, the unavailability of suitable husbands and fathers, can be solved by parents who love and teach their children. Learn now how to give your boys this inestimable, invaluable gift. Learn how to raise real men at realloveparents.com. <music>